in the jungle, she's a beta. But out here, she's an alpha. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trends Reaction. One of the things I love are movies that I call high concept movies. For instance, Killer Clowns in Outer Space. It is, on the face of it, a fairly stupid idea, to be totally honest. It's kind of dumb. But the thing is, the movie, for the most part, works. Works exceptionally well, in fact. It's not perfect by any stretch, but it takes an idea that really shouldn't work at all, and it does really well with it. This, by my reckoning, is a high concept movie, and high concept movies tend to be, by their nature, risky and weird. For instance, Sharknado. I'm not a fan. I haven't sat through one of them, to be totally honest, but that's a high concept movie. Just the idea you have a movie centered around a fucking tornado built with sharks is <laughs> so stupid, but it clearly has its audience. Once again, I'm not part of it, but it seems to be doing well. I mean, it's begat something like five or six sequels. So clearly someone is enjoying that and they're making more. The reason I bring this up is because I'm looking at a movie called Slother House. I did say Slother House, deliberately not saying Slaughter House. And the point being is that apparently it is a horror movie revolving around a killer sloth. Now, if you don't know what a sloth is, here are some images. What is, by your reckoning, the most distinctive feature of this animal? It's its speed. Namely, the sloth is very slow. It also has really huge claws, by the way, and teeth. If you were to run into it, that I can see as a problem, though the sloth is not going to chase you down because you can probably walk faster than this animal can move. So it's not a threat. Therefore, this is by my reckoning a high concept movie because it's taking something that is potentially insanely stupid <laughs> and hopefully doing something interesting with it. I should also mention that this movie is being released via Gravitas Features. And if you've seen Tubi at all, a lot of their movies are, I want to say crap, but that maybe isn't fair. Let's just say they're not very good. Now keep in mind, it's worth mentioning that Gravitas, as far as I'm aware, doesn't make movies per se. Movies are in the marketplace and they purchase them which is another animal entirely. Still, they purchase a lot of movies that aren't very good. That being said, I'm hoping Slaughterhouse works because it is such a stupid idea that it is brilliant if it works. Let's take a look at the trailer for Slaughterhouse. They couldn't sell you that one. They're really up so? Maybe they just tricked us all. In the jungle, she's a beta. But out here, she's an alpha. Alpha? It is a wild animal. You don't even know what it eats. Alpha? It's a slaughter house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
that's the trailer for Slaughterhouse. And it is stupid. But it looks like it's fun stupid. And I'll be honest with you, I sometimes enjoy fun stupid movies. This looks ridiculous. Nothing about the sloth as depicted makes any sense at all. Would I pay to see Slaughterhouse? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks interesting. So what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trail Into Reaction. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace. And have a great weekend.